Hey guys, thanks for joining me again. In this video, I'm gonna give you my top five tips to help you guys improve your Milky Way photography. Let's get stuck in. If you're new to the channel, guys, welcome. If you're not new, welcome back. So let's jump straight into number one. Social media has given us a huge resource when it com comes to Nightscape images, and it doesn't really matter what platform you choose, whether it be here on YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, any one of those sort of things. What we wanna do is find the guys who are really changing the game, doing some incredible things, and capturing the night sky like you've never seen. And most guys, when they post online, will post their EXIF data along with the image. And what we can learn from that are things like, you know, did they shoot the foreground in the blue hour? Is it a panorama? Did they stack the sky? Did they stack the foreground? And the settings they used to capture that image. Now, how that's gonna help us out is the next time we're out in the field, we can just you know, refer to those things and understand how that image was put together. I would highly encourage you guys also to interact with those guys, ask them questions, comment, and just get an understanding of how those images were put together. And that will really help you guys out. So getting lessons. Some people want to go through their learning process organically, but nothing will fast track your journey better than going and getting lessons. The types of tuition will change from person to person. If, for example, you're new to tracking mounts or you struggle to get good in-camera data, then spending one-on-one -on -one time with somebody in the field will, will have a huge benefit on the way you capture images. And if you're on the other side of that and you can get good in-camera data, but you just really want to up your post-production game, then you would benefit from spending one-on-one -on -one time with somebody, uh, whether that's in person or over a Zoom call. The key with tuition though, is finding someone who can customize a package to suit you and where you're currently at in your photography journey. And if you use tip number one and utilize social media, you'll be able to see the guys who, you know, offer workshops, offer Zoom calls, photo tours, and things like that. And if you wanna know anything about the tours that I do or workshops that I do, jump over to the website and check them out. Get yourself to some dark skies. Now, I know that's easier said than done for a lot of people around the world. And even if you can just get to somewhere slightly darker than where you currently shoot, that'll make a huge difference. Now, for you guys in Australia, we're pretty lucky here where even if you live in a major city, you can get in the car and drive, you know, an hour, hour and a half and find yourself in some pretty dark skies. And another thing to consider with light pollution is the direction we're gonna shoot. So try and pick locations and compositions that have us facing away from the light pollution domes and where the Milky Way is actually in a dark part of the sky. And you know, this is one of the reasons why I'm able to get so much color and detail out of my images. So there's a lot of discussion out there on the internet about camera gear and whether you can actually tell the difference between a crop sensor body and a kit lens versus a full frame camera and some wide aperture glass. Now, while the difference in daytime is really, really small, the story completely changes as soon as we head out into the dark. And what we ask of our cameras and our gear when it comes to nightscape is just out of reach, you know, for most kit lenses and crop sensor bodies if we want the absolute best quality. For this reason, upgrading your gear from a crop sensor body and a kit lens to a full frame camera with some wide aperture glass that performs well wide open will make a huge difference in the way you image. And we're really lucky as consumers that camera manufacturers are just pumping out new bodies, new bodies, new bodies. And what that does for us is it floods the market, the secondhand market with really affordable, high quality camera bodies. And we're really lucky that there's so many third, third party manufacturers out there producing lenses, which gives us the option to pick and choose a lens that is high quality and shoots really well at wide open apertures, which some of the big name brands don't really do. So tip number five, before we get into it, I'd just like to mention, if you enjoy my content, be sure to like, subscribe, it's free, it's easy, and it helps the algorithm put my videos in front of more people. Now, the last thing is just to get out there. Now this sounds really easy, and it is easy. So we just need to get in our car and get out and shoot. And I don't just mean on those new moon nights, we've got so much time we can go and shoot throughout the year. We can shoot for most of the month, even if it means some of the nights you've only got two hours before the moon rises or the moon sets, we need to go out and make every single minute count and try different things. So everything you've learned in you know, your tuition session or things you've learned on 
YouTube, just go and try them out. Don't be afraid to fail. Don't be afraid that you're gonna come home and your, your panorama won't stitch, so maybe you shouldn't shoot a panorama. Just get out there and shoot as much as you can. Try crazy things. And if you try all different things, you'll end up finding a niche that you enjoy, whether it be light painting, star trails, panoramas, you know, more deep space sort of stuff. If you just keep trying all crazy things, you'll end up finding that niche. And while finding that niche, you'll just improve. Your improvement will just go out of sight. If you implement these five things, I guarantee your images will improve this year. And if you go out and take some cool stuff, tag me on Instagram, I'd love to see it. So if you're not following me on Instagram, jump over, give us a follow. And I'd also love to hear, hear your thoughts in the comments below. Anyway, as always, until next time, cheers guys.